This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Ivan Studio. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we will create this twirly background animation inside of After Effects using only the After Effects built-in effects. No plugins are required. So it's going to be a super fun tutorial. It's a really interesting look and we will be using a bunch of different effects to create this final result. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. If you like these kind of animations, then you should definitely check out the base transition and motion graphics pack from i1 Studio. This pack is available for both After Effects and Premiere Pro. Comes with Atom X extension. So using this pack is as simple as drag and drop. And all the animations are auto resizable, so it will fit in any composition that you will create. So, for more information, you can check out the link in the description below. And by the way, if you are new, if you're watching my video for the very first time, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And you can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I have mentioned the link in the description below. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to call this render as a main Renicom. Let's call this, let's keep it 1920 by 1080. That is full HD and 10 seconds long at 30 FPS. Click on OK. Then let's create one more new composition, which is going to be our noise comp, where we will create the base of the animation. So I'm going to call this noise. Hit OK. Hit Control Y to create a new solid. And let's hit OK. Go into effects and preset and search for fractal noise, which is a super awesome effect. Let's double click to apply that. Change the fractal type from basic to dynamic and the noise type from soft linear to spline. Then let's increase the contrast a little bit like so. So maybe somewhere around there. And also I'm going to bring down the brightness a little bit, not much. So something like that. Then let's jump into the transform properties, unlink the uniform scaling, scale the width to around 200 and scale the height to 300. Then I'm going to go here and click on invert to invert the complete um, fractal design. And then I can jump into the evolution and then we can animate the evolution. So to animate this, I'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch and let's type in a simple expression that is time times 50. So it's going to keep on animating the evolution like so. Now I want the evolution to move downwards and to do that, I can go into the transform and animate the offset turbulence. So let's create a keyframe on the offset turbulence, go all the way up to 10 seconds and let's bring this point down like so holding shift and now if i preview this you can see we have something like this but i think i want a bit more so like so and now we have a pretty cool looking animation all right pretty good we can also play around with the complexity so i can increase this a little bit like around 6.8 or 6.7 is fine and then let's create a new solid so hit Control y again call this ram and let's also rename this one to noise all right so this is our ramp layer let's go into effects and preset and search for gradient ramp and there we go double click to apply that then swap the colors and change the blending mode to linear burn i believe yep and that is going to give us this really nice look so all the fractals are getting dissolved while they hit at around this spot of the layer that is the bottom of the layer basically or the composition and that is exactly what i want probably i'll move this a little bit down and this one a little bit up so there we go it looks kind of like fire if we can add a nice color to this anyway so it's looking pretty good 
now let's um, go back and drag the and let's create a new composition actually call this noise war all right drag and drop the noise composition inside this right click and create a new adjustment layer call this warp and then go into effects and preset and search for polar coordinates let's hit let's double click to apply that and increase this all the way up to 100 but also switch the type to conversion type of conversion to rectangle to polar and boom there we go we get this really nice kind of a shock wave look to this which is pretty awesome and then i'm gonna search for an effect called cc radial fast blur let's double click or you can simply drag and drop it and change the zoom from standard to brightness so now we get something like this which is looking pretty crazy now let's go back and create a new composition and this is going to be the noise animation drag the noise warp comp right in here and now let's add some color to this so i'm going to go into effects and preset and search for cc toner let's double click to apply that and let's change this to a nice blue color all right let's duplicate this so hit ctrl d and let's change this to a red kind of a darkish pinkish red and then hit r and rotate this to 180 degrees also let's change the blending mode of this to screen and this one to screen as well so now we get this really cool look as you can see pretty nice and maybe i can add a transform on this so let's go into effects and preset and search for transform double click to apply that and let's scale this by 150 and let's hit ctrl c and paste it on the noise warp 2 as well ctrl v so that is looking much better to me then i'm gonna then i'm gonna create a new solid so hit ctrl y call this mask and i'm gonna select the eclipse tool and holding ctrl and shift at the same time i'm gonna create a circle like that hit f and feather this mask up so something like that and also we can play around with the expansion so let's increase this and now we have kind of a hole into the center so i can play around with the expansion and the feather so that is looking pretty good let's create a new adjustment layer call this distort go into effects and preset and search for optics compensation pretty cool effect and a really useful one so let's go at the very start and set the field of view to 20 and reverse lens distortion then go to 10 seconds and set this to around 60 then i'm going to search for an effect called twirl let's hit double click to apply that and let's twirl this to get a really interesting look as you can see and bring down the twirl radius a little bit like so that is fine and then search for cc lens effect double click and let's increase the cc lens to around 150 or something looking good and bring down the conversions like so so let's go with somewhere around 40 that is looking fine and then again add the optics compensation double click and i'm going to set this all the way up to 90 and reverse lens distortion and also turn on the optimal pixel and then finally i'm going to add a transform effect and all i have to do is make sure that the transform effect is on the top of the effects rack and now you can see we get a really cool looking twirl which is looking super awesome now one thing that i'm going to do here is add a little bit of blur on this so i can search for cc radial fast blur again and add that 
hit control c and paste it on the noise warp 2 as well so control v so now we have much smoother lines and we get a really interesting look now you can anytime play with all these settings here so i can play around with the twirl make it really intense make it very subtle so something like that and we get a really cool look but we are not done yet so let's go back into our main render comp drag and drop in the noise animation so this is our final result now let's make it presentable and you know add some glows and stuff to this so first of all let's hit ctrl y to create a new solid called this bg for background put it at the back and then change the noise animation blending mode of this layer to add let's select the background go into effects and preset and search for fill let's apply that and then I'm going to make it kind of a darkish blue color. That looks good. And then on the noise animation, I'm going to add some nice glow. So let's search for glow, apply that. And then switch from 8 BPC to 32 BPC. So I'm going to hold Alt and click on this small button. So this is going to help us to get some very nice and organic glows as you can see. And it looks super cool. As you can see, the glows are looking very nice and organic. You can also add some noise on this just in order to avoid any kind of color bendings. So I'm going to add noise of around 3% should be fine. Okay, that is looking great. And finally, I will add a little bit of curves adjustment just to adjust the overall look of this. But I think I'm going to create a new adjustment layer for that as well. So let's call the cc for color correction go into effects and preset and search for curves double click to apply that let's add a little bit of contrast here so you can see before and after just a subtle touch but overall it looks pretty awesome so yeah that is how you can create this twirly background animations inside of after effects using this very simple and inbuilt effects so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if and if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you already subscribed then do let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this tutorial and hit that like button so that i know that this kind of videos are really helpful to you and you guys are enjoying it so with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out